Hi guys, my name is Jana. For those of you who don't know me yet, I changed my intro just a little bit. I wanted to show you something. I have three different channels. Channel 1 is my channel for the advanced beaters. This middle channel is the channel for the beginning beaters. And my third channel is for those who, of you who would like to be challenged. Beginning beaters. If you came here, just pause the video for a second. And click on my little icon. If you never beat it before, then click on view. Choose all this first, and you can see where the basic beginning beating starts. Now, I'm working my way up to get a little bit more advanced every time with every video. And as you can see, there's plenty of them on there. In about three months, you should be up to the level where you can do any of them. Just choose one, pick one, and you're good to go. You can just go back to browse videos to see the latest videos. And if you really like my channel, then please subscribe. Thank you. Let's start beating now. Good morning, guys. Well, I broke my tripod and I have to do it with another tripod. Thank God I got a spare. But uh, it's not as handy as the other one was. However, first I want to say thank all you guys for uh, responding to my uh, Garfield video. Uh, I didn't realize there were so many cat lovers and I was a little bit afraid to put a video about a cat up or how to clean a cat up uh, on a beating. But I'm glad I have so many cat lovers uh, that are also beat lovers. So uh, I want to do the herringbone with you guys. And... Um, these beads, I found out now, somebody put it on uh, in the comment section, can't remember her name exactly, but these beads are called satin, and you need Delica beads. Uh, pass these beads on the right side. Don't use these beads for doing a herringbone, because um, these are very sharp, and your thread will cut right through them. And we're going to do something that is not one of my favorite things. We're going to use... Uh, Delica beads for this because it just looks prettier and um, but yeah you can do it with seed beads that's not a problem I'm gonna use Delica beads though because it just looks prettier and although I'm worried about it breaking easily uh, these are not the kind of bracelets I would want to sell personally because I also I'm always worried about sharp edges of the Delica beads you know grinding against the thread when you pull it tight and you know if, if it's a bracelet it will go around your wrist so it will have movement continuously but I'm gonna start off with some Miyuki cubes but the problem with the Miyuki cubes is there is not as evenly sized as their other beads so to find a decent cube is pretty hard but I'm going to start anyway and you're gonna start with the letter stitch on this so you gotta pick up two I got Fireline 0 0.006 that I'm using and I got about two arm spans wide that I start with so we're going back into the same two cubes and back into the same two cubes again so you go around twice when you set up. And then just fold it around so that the cubes are right next to each other. And pull both threads tight. Now it's still a little bit open here so go around one more time. Just go up in the first cube. And pull that tight. Go down in the second cube. Pull that down. Pick up number three. Make sure that they're good sized cubes. Go up 
and go down in number two. up in number three again and somebody did this with nylon thread and that's not possible because your cubes won't align uh, as good as they are aligning here number four go down in number three so you're coming up from the bottom so you go back in top adding number four going And down in number three and it's important that you go around this often so you make sure that those blocks are tight together because I see people that just do it once but then the blocks have gaps in between them and that's not very pretty go back up in number four pick up another block or cube little cube number five thread comes out from top so you're going in from the bottom up going down in number five going up in number four again down in number five and pick up number six go down in number five because the thread comes from out of number five and you can basically do this depending on how wide you want your bracelet and normally I like my bracelets white but I have so many white bracelets now that I got for sale so I think I'll go do something that's a little bit more slim so we got six Picking up number seven, going in from the bottom, and I think I'll just do ten. Seven down, six up, seven down, eight. down up and down again up again Ten will be my last one. Ten down and up and down and up. I think I got ten. Let me keep recalculate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm going to turn it around because the thread comes out of the bottom on this side. So this is my bottom actually. And I need to get back in this bead. So I need to go up. But if I go up now, then I'll just pull my thread out, right? So go underneath the two last cubes under the thread. Pull that through. Now you got a little loop and go through that loop and be careful you don't pull your cubes out of place. Just kind of keep your finger on there and make sure it goes right there underneath and your cubes are still in place. So now I got this little loop, I'm tied up so I can go back up into the first one. 
and this is where we start. Pick up two delica beads, go down in the second cube. Up in the third cube, pick up two delica beads, go down in the fourth cube. Go up in the fifth cube. Pick up two delica beads, go down in the sixth cube. Up in the seventh cube, two delica beads down in the 8th cube. Try not to stick in my finger here, but it seems to be pretty difficult not to. Okay, got the 8. Up in 9. And pick up 2, go down in 10. Now turn that around, and because you need to go up now, but again if you go up into that same last seed bead then you're just sticking your thread out. So again, get the other thread out of the way, go underneath the thread of the last two cubes. Pull it through. Don't just do this right now, you know, just pull it through until you have a small loop like that. And now just pull it through carefully. So your beads don't go out of place. Stick up in the cube and into the delica. Pick up two delicas. Go into the second delica. Pull that down. And now you got two delicas on top of there. You go into the third delica. Pick up two delicas. Go into the fourth delica. And as I said, this is a very delicate piece. And especially when you go into now the fifth delica, you got your thread going from delica, sharp edge, to delica, sharp edge. So what you should not do is be in a hurry, but just do them one by one. Go into the five and pick up two and go down. What you shouldn't do is go back up into six like that. You know, your thread will um, damage even quicker. So don't do that. Just do them one by one. Take the time. It's a good stitch, you know, if you want to make sure that this lasts as long as possible. And I suggest you make a piece for yourself to see how long it lasts and, you know, wear it a couple of days and say, well, okay, that's good. It's not bad. It works. But I think by the end of the, uh, of the bracelet, you already see how much or badly you have damaged your file line and able to trust it or not. So going into the ninth delica here. Picking up two. And I'm going down and I'm going down in the tenth and in the block that's just my way of doing it I see people who 
um, go into one like that. I'll show you what. It's all up to you, of course. You know, there's different ways of this being taught. So I got like. put that up. I, I have seen tutorials where people just now go underneath in between the Delica and the cube and then do that little loop. But I don't like that so um, I don't feel safe with that. So I, I rather go down in the bottom again into the cube. And if you do a long line of just Delicas then um, I don't think there's much of a problem, but uh, if you do like a block in between, which I like to do, because I think that's pretty, then um, I rather, you know, make sure that everything is secured here and nothing is going to pull, because I'm always afraid my projects are going to pull. Now, in case you see that right now the gap is opened, you can still go into the second block and tie that up a little bit more. By going around twice, get that back together. And if you've gone around twice, then you can go underneath these threads again. Pull your thread through, make a little loop. Go into the loop, pull it through, and what I like to do is I like to go up to Delica beads. And that will straighten out the less delica beat because when you did five then the less delica beat will stand straight up and the others will cross to each other and that's the effect that you want but uh, I rather have like a straight side I don't know you know it's just the perfectionist to me I guess and make sure that everything is connected correctly so now I'm going to pick up two delica beats again and we're just going to do the same thing we're going to go into the second one go down and go up in the third one pick up two again go down up in the fifth one up two down up again two down and I'm also not pulling my thread very hard as you can see that the, but that's why the cubes were loose at the end but I just want to make sure that I give these delica space so they can move and you know without uh, damaging the thread too much going up in the last one Picking up two, and I'm going down two delicas and the cube right there. And you might wonder how often can you go underneath that thread? Oh dear lord. I have no idea. Turning it around again, going up three Delica beads, and I'm going to pick up two, going down in the second one, up in the third, two, it's not that hard. It's actually fun to do. And don't just please don't don't do this. Go down in three and go up in four. Okay? Just have patience. 
Patience, patience, patience. Up. Two down. And I have been asked, like, uh, is there any thread that you would recommend to do this with that you're sure it won't break? No, if I knew what thread would be secure, then I would have been using it by now. But maybe somebody out there says, well, that's perfect, you know, you can do that with uh, whatever kind of thread, and because I haven't used all kinds of threads. And if you say, you know, that would be perfect and it doesn't matter and it will stay... Uh, good and it won't break then uh, yeah let me know okay going down three and the cube going underneath in between the cubes again into the loop up Four Delica beads. Picking up two. Down the second one again. Up the third. And it's also a good plan that you just keep your finger on that thread and you pull it in the direction that you're going. So I'm going down and pulling my thread down. And don't, uh, if it's not in the correct position, don't just yank it. Just kind of place it in that right position with your fingers. Go up and then just kind of... That's why you see me twisting my hand all the time because I'm pulling to the right and I want to go in that direction where the thread is going, just to make sure that I don't damage my thread. So, going down, fingers on there, pull it down, going up again, pulling it up, two down, and down is easier as up, of course, because that's just kind of pulling straights towards yourself. But, you know, up would be like where my camera is. I would go like that so that, that I need to kind of, you know, twist my hand. The last two. One, two. And I'm going to go all the way down. And underneath here again, make a little loop. Go through. Up, up, up. All five of them. Okay, and now I need 10 cubes. So I'm going to get pick up two cubes, not that one. One, two cubes. And I'm going to go around in those two cubes. Got to make sure, though, that those cubes are coming down. And are tied to the... and are close to the Delica beads. So, going down in 
the cube now coming out of the Delica. Go up in the next Delica. Pick up a cube, go into the second cube, and just go around like you would do in you like you would be doing a bottom row. Make sure those are connected correctly. And now you can't go in to the next delica. So you pick up a cube first. Go into the cube. Place that right next there. Go down. Go up. Go down and into the Delica. So, up in the next Delica. Grab a cube. Into the fourth cube. Up in the cube. Down in the cube, up in the cube, and we're going to pick up a new cube and attach it to the previous cube. Down in that cube. up in that cube, down in the cube, and the Delica. Up the next Delica, Picking up the cube into the cube and connecting the two cubes. Up the cube again. Down the cube. up the cube. Next cube, up the cube, down the cube, up the cube, down the cube, and Delica. Up the cube, uh, up the Delica. Cube. Pick it up, go in there. Cube. One less cube. First go around. Down. Up. Down. 
the whole line down all the delicas and into the cube underneath the cube into the loop turn it around and make it your start all the way up and now we're not coming back here anymore we're just going to use that row of cubes to go underneath the thread for the next row so and I think I'll have some fun yeah throw some darker seed uh, darker delicas in there. Row two. And also you're just gonna do the exact same thing. So just go down the cube because there's nowhere else where you can go. So you gotta go down the cube. Up the cube. Two. Fourth cube right here. up five at two down six up seven two down in eight And pick two and go down. And now you're just gonna twist that open a little bit so you can find your cube middle underneath right there. Carefully pull that through. And we're going back up that cube and into that first delica. And now we're just going to pick up two again. One, two, second delica. Down. Up to delicas down one delica up two delicas down up. Two delicas down. Up. Two delicas down, delica, and cube. And just kind of twist it so you can see where you're going. Because you gotta go in between the threads right here of that cube. And then you go back up. And you do two delicas. And just pull it a little bit. Make sure that's tight. Picking up the next two. Going down. Going up. Two. And you're just going to continue doing this until your bracelet is long enough. And I like to put like 
uh, every five here. I'm going to put cubes, but you can do every ten. I've done that before, you know, ten rows and then cubes. Or you can just continue doing just the delicas and decide that you will go underneath the side. of the delica beads and make a loop there. Doesn't really matter. Everybody's got to find their own way of how to do this, I think. Because you might not like the fact that these five are straight while the rest of them has a good herringbone, you know, uh, in the middle. But I don't mind. I think it looks good. I like straight especially on the sides of my bracelet. And let me show you one more time how to add the cubes, just in case, so you don't have to turn the video back, like how did those cubes go, but let me finish these two rows and then I'll show you again how to do that. Okay, so you come out of that last delicate bead. First you have to do is pick up two cubes go all the way to the end and go around back in those same two cubes again. Position them next to each other so you gotta twist them. And try to stay very close with your thread to the delica bead. So just kind of pull the first two. Go into the first cube again down in the second and just to make sure go around one more time if you want to make sure that that is positioned correctly so going up one more time then I'm going down and I'm going down in the second delica after that I move over one delica so now I'm up the third delica picking up that cube going in the cube, don't go in the delica, just the cube. Put that in its place, going up the third cube, down the second cube, up the third cube. And now you can't go in the delica, so you need to pick up another cube. Go in the fourth cube, Move that over in position, go down the fourth cube, third cube, fourth cube, and the delica, fourth delica. Up in the fifth delica. Get the cube, down in the fourth cube, up the fifth cube, down in the fourth cube, up the fifth cube, grab the sixth cube, into the fifth cube, down the sixth cube. up the fifth cube, down the sixth cube, and into one delica. Go into the seventh delica, pick up a cube, go into the sixth cube, up the seventh cube, down the sixth cube, up the seventh cube, and pick up a cube, seventh cube, position it, eighth cube, down, seventh cube, up, 8th cube 
down and in that delica. So now we're going up the last delicas up cube 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 and another cube cube move and down and up and down the cube and all the delicas and make sure you go through all of them yep and into that cube and now one last loop I think I'll just go and now one last little loop underneath the threads and go back up all the delicas and start your next row and I think I'll be using silver for this so that's basically it until you run out of thread and let me show you what to do when you run out of thread but first I gotta run out of thread so uh, I would say pause me now until you run out of thread and I will do the same. I'm slowly running out of thread. Whatever you do, make sure you have enough to go all the way back down to the beginning and that you always finish your row. So I think I got enough for one more set of delicate beads. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, and one, two. And now I'm going to just take it all the way down. to the beginning. And I'm not going to tie a knot there either. I'm just going to go up and down. And now I'm going to make sure that everything is flat and carefully tie a knot here because there's already so many knots tied at the beginning. So just taking another place right now. There. And I'm just going to go up, down, up, and down. And I think that's enough. And I'm just going to cut it off, or I'm going to leave it maybe. Uh, maybe I need it later on to strengthen my uh, clasp. But I would say that's how you get rid of your leftover thread. So now it's very simple. You just get a new two arm span white thread. And you cut that off. Put that on your needle 
and you go all the way back up. Pull that through, come out under the cube, wherever you are, doesn't matter how many rows you have, you have, come out from under the cube. And tie your little knot right there under the threads. So that everything is tight when you move into the cube. And there you go. And you can now choose to first work this thread away or you can leave it or you know uh, you still need a clasp so maybe you know this is enough to later on add the clasp with or I always like to leave my threads to the last uh, because I don't know what they might come in handy for. So, but if they're in the way, I suggest uh, you get rid of them because then we'll just add a new thread later on. So now you know what to do. You know how to do the blocks, you know how to do the stitch, you know how to add the, uh, the thread. So that just leaves how to add the clasp. I would say just make sure that your bracelet is long enough and uh, well, I guess, pause me until you need to add the clasp. I got my bracelet. It looks very 70s. Got my threads all over the place. I got most of my threads on the bottom, but I left one where I started uh, up here so that they can go that away. So you don't have too many threads on the back side. What we need to do now is find the middle and that's very easy because you got 10 cubes so 5 is the middle. So we can add some more cubes with a brick stitch and then add the loop to that. So first of all go into zigzag. Okay and this is 4 and this is Five. I'm going underneath in between the two fives, so that's in the middle, right there, and I'm going through that loop again, so that's tight. I'm picking up two cubes and I'm going under number six, and I'm going back up in the first one going back down in the second one. Going back up in the first one. Going back down in the second one. And now I'm going to add the next cube. Going back up one more time. And I'm going to just turn that around, get the next cube, go underneath one, two, three, four, and five on this side, going back up in the middle one, going back down, back up, and back down. And now I'm going to go down sideways in two cubes because I want to attach that row to the cubes up here. So going back in, two up and two down. Going back up in the next one and the first one. Going underneath the first and the second one right there, 
picking up two cubes, going underneath two and three, in between underneath the thread, pulling that down, going up in the first one, going down in the second one, up in the first one, down in the second one and just go straight down through all three cubes like that. Pick up the next one and go up through all three cubes like that. And you can do that again and just go to the other side going down three cubes that away and picking up three cubes that away. And now we get out some seed beads, size 11, oh, it's a little bit much, you don't need that much. And we pick up one, two, three, four, five, go down in the cube, all three of them, go down, pick up the next cube. Go around again, and maybe you want to attach the two cubes again, so you can go up like that. As long as you go through those um, seat beats about three or four times, and going down again. That way, pick it up again, going around again, and now I'm just going to go down and I'm going to zigzag to make sure that my thread is tight. Stick that sack all the way to the other direction. Get those cubes in order one more time. You know, you can zigzag as much as you want to. But I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to go down. And I'm going to go in between the threads one more time. Pull that loop through. right here on the dish cube I'm coming out and I'm going to cut off my thread there one thread gone now that's all what you need to do is you just zigzag your leftover threads through and then go under to make a little loop make sure that that's tight and just go down cut it off so that's what you would do with all of these and one of these, which is pretty long, just find your longest if you have one. Just make the cubes with that, the way you did here. Because you have, a, if you have enough thread on the other side. If not, you will have to add a new thread. But I think you will have something there that will work, is long enough. So that's basically it. After that, you put a jump ring on here, and of course your clasp. And you just close it up, and it's all done.